first things first what up with y'all how y'all doing welcome back to the channel you know what i'm saying second thank god that's not her original hair color holy shit she's rivaling rock lee with that trash ass cut Alright, so y'all already know old girl came in clutch to save Tanjo's legacy. And thank God that she did, because if Tanjo would have went out like that, well that's enough to compete with Jiraiya's death, I'm just saying. And out the gate, she already looking sus, bruh. Like, we know that you was spectating. She saw Tanjo getting cooked by that Digimon, and didn't want no playing time. Oh, nah, she thinks she Kawhi Leonard. And I can't lie, when I first saw Mitsuri, I almost took her to the Riz Academy. Because she's easily the finest woman on this show. Hey, bro, you froze. She bad. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie bro my whole entire last video might be a lot because she is making Hantengo look like an absolute clown right now like he is using every offensive weapon that he has but she got shot blocking on hall of fame right now she got this man Hantengo so confused right now so he like fuck it i'ma just start spamming so this man goes into full try hard mode man said that all right let me sit up on this hoe but i can't even cap she packed that shit up this nigga is trash k.o so she comes up out of the cut ready to end this boss battle. And while she may have been spectating, she didn't read the full scouting report. She ain't know this man on Tango had unlimited badges, unlimited moves, a bag deeper than the ocean. Nah, deeper than the ocean is top tier glazing, not gonna lie. So then she goes in for the kill with this sword that's built like a snake. And that shit look just like what they used to use back in the day. I'm just saying. And you can tell this is about to end badly. You can see it on Tanjo's face. He's like, it's just as I feared. She's ass. So just as she's about to cut his head off, Hantango hits her with the This the part that I like the most. <laughs> And the writers need to explain to me how the hell she didn't get turned into a pack. Because at this point, this move is starting to look like Vegeta's final flash. So this man Hantengu jumps down, he just starts analyzing her badges. Oh nah, she got Hall of Fame shot blocking, tireless scorer, and Hall of Fame clamps. Oh yeah, I'm about to absorb her like this is the Boo Saga. So Mance was about to one-shot her while she was on the ground. Oh nah, he think he Conor McGregor. And right before he kills her, guess who comes to save the day? So yeah, the writers basically prevented her from going to see Pop Smoke. But then we get her flashback. And then we learn that Mitsuri was literally built for this shit. So she gets up and you can tell she mean business. She in the Arthur pose right now. And then this man Hantengu goes right back to spamming. But I told y'all she got Tyler's score activated. So she goes right back to cooking him. And after watching this episode, all I gotta say is... Akaza would never let this happen. I'm just saying. Is this nigga...